So it dawned on me as I was beginning to repin my PCM to add the select a shift to the 2012 Mustang um, based on the instrument panel cluster upgrade that I've done. There's really not any good information out there about how you actually repin or add a pin to a PCM. So I thought, hey, I'll make a quick video seeing if I can do this with one hand and uh, the phone. Basically, when you remove your um, plugs from the PCM, you're going to flip this lever back and it will unclick and then they come right off. I've got that one still plugged in simply because I don't want to lose track that that one goes there. And then you can see, you know, this one's here and then there's this other one down here. So the one I'm actually repinning is the bottom most PCM component that the screwdriver is pointing at way down here. So uh, with a good schematic, and I think I probably got the best one from Ford, their really nice wiring diagram manual. I know the particular connector I'm looking at here is the CE-175B. And the instructions off the internet that folks put together in terms of once you flash your PCM to the new version and have everything all put together, um, how you are going to wire in the new 2013-2014 uh, style Select-A-Shift shifter into the PCM. Um, from the wiring diagrams here, you can see that uh, for the 5 liter, it's the C-175B. So we got C-175B, and this tells you your pin counts, and the instructions clearly tell you you're going to add a pin at 23 and 24, which are currently not used in a 2012 car. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, I've already pinned up some wires. Uh, they are square pins, which is important with the little... Um, the little catch tab on them right here and I've already got my wire run here uh, this goes back into the cabin um, down through here down behind the wheel and then uh, there's a, a spot through the firewall that that goes so that's going to get pinned into uh, 23 and 24 in here so if we look at our wiring diagram uh, we can tell that pin 23 and 24 are going to be, so that's 18, 19, 20. So they're going to basically be these two pins, and this is the layout on the face. So we can look at the layout on the face here and uh, be able to know that you're going to basically be counting in um, to find those pins. I think it's going to be those two right, right there uh, that you can see are empty. So in terms of how you do this, uh, I have released this little plastic clip here in the back and that's really easy to do you just basically use a little pick and you can see that there are little clip holders here and you're going to just work this off um, you are going to have to break out you can see in here there's these little uh, stubs and those little stubs the inside of this that brown material in here let me see if i can show you uh, because this is all super important computery stuff, see how that's all kind of kind of spongy? There you go. Um, those little plugs that are located on the back thing here are basically designed to keep water from getting up inside of here. So we will be removing one of those. It probably won't show it because this is going to be a crummy video anyhow doing this one-handed. But in order to get in here, um, all pins are going to have a little... Um, you can see the little flap on there that holds them in place and basically this plastic housing here is designed to hold them in place so what we're going to do is grab onto this and I have no idea how I'm going to do this with one hand let's see if there's a yeah let's just grab onto this and you're going to just pull there you go clicks comes right off and now you can see all of your pins um, and at this point it's basically find your pin location that you are going to be repinning, and you're just going to feed your wire. Um, you can see my pin is the right size. It fits in here, so you're gonna kinda wanna make sure your pins fit in there. You can see it does. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed my wire once I trim off that little crumb at the bottom and count my pin slot. You're going to pick your spot. Let me here. Let me snip this off with the with the pliers so that I can kind of just show you. But you're going to count over, and I'm I'm going to have to count. I don't remember. Um, I'm doing too many things at once with this, but you basically just stick your wire in there and you're going to push that down through. It will come out the back. Um, you are going to have to break off the tab down in here that it's going to exit through and then you can come out and you'll do any of your, uh, your crimping, um, soldering, and um, I am going to put a, a heat shrink sleeve on the, the wires that I'm adding and the wire that I'm going to splice into. But pretty straightforward. It's really easy to do. Then once you're done um, with your putting the two pins in here, you're going to push this back on. It'll click. You will take this uh, piece here, slide it back up, and it will click. And then this thing comes off of the whole um, harness back here. Uh, and it basically gives a, um, a, a hard part of the clip Right here you can see that uh, electrical tape will wrap around here. So I'm going to get my wires in here and I'll do all of my splicing and heat shrinking and all that stuff. Have it all really sealed up really well and then um, it'll be done. So that's how you repin a, uh, a newer PCM plug.